Hello guys and welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm currently sat in my other studio. I have been really enjoying coming in here on a morning and kind of illustrating and stuff. Um, it's been really, really fun and it's just really chilled and I've also had a clear out of all the stuff. I cleared a load of art supplies out, I got rid of them, I gave a lot of them to Emily and Charlie and yeah I'm feeling good and I only kept the supplies that I really really love. Um, so yeah nice new tidy studio which makes me feel really good. Uh, the only thing I don't like is there's like photography lamps everywhere but I need to keep them in here there's nowhere else they can go. Anyway you've just seen me illustrate um, the lid of Shalott and it's an old painting from the 1800s. It's actually from Fran Nerds. I've got something in my eye. Ugh. Get out. Sorry about that. It was actually from Fran Nerd's Patreon challenge. So I'm a patron of Fran Nerd because she is a huge inspiration for me. And she does um, a monthly art challenge like we do over on our Patreon as well. And I thought I might as well join in. It was something really different. She um, did a Draw This In Your Style of the Lady of Shalot, which is a very old painting. And I thought it'd be interesting to try it out. And I also wanted to experiment with um, different techniques in a different style and all. And I actually shared it to my Instagram and I shared it to my Patreons on Discord explaining how I absolutely hate how it turned out. Um, I think the whole style thing actually developed for me uh, through experimentation and finding what I actually like to illustrate. And as I was illustrating this I was getting more and more frustrated. I actually spent a long time on this illustration and it's really sketchy and rough because I just wanted a rough sketch initially but I kept spending too long on it because I just hated how it was turning out. I hated using the tools I was using. I still use the 6B pencil on Procreate and the gouache brush but I use them in a different way to how I would normally illustrate with them and yeah I think the whole reason I developed this style in the first place I found a technique and style that I actually enjoy working with and then to change change it has just made me realise how much I actually dislike using that other style. That was kind of an eye opener for me and I shared it on Discord and everything. I shared uh, my experiences with it. I also shared it on Instagram because honestly this is probably one of the worst pieces I have done for a very long time. Honestly I don't normally share this type of work. Normally if I do something like this um, I don't share it and this is the downside of social media I suppose is you only see the artists or person's lifestyle which is like their highlights and their favourite things that they've illustrated and drawn. I do share a lot of quick doodles and stuff on my Instagram but it's normally using my traditional style and these kind of experimental pieces are something that I wouldn't usually share uh, but I thought do you know what I'm just going to share it and I'm going to share my experience with people because it's all fair and dandy seeing all the artists perfect highlight reel and all the great stuff that the artist puts out but when the artist actually does something that they completely hate that and I was like I really dislike this piece and the reason I dislike it is probably because it's not pastel colours probably because it's not the cute chubby style that I usually do and yeah I just thought I would share that experience with you guys so if you ever try and experiment and you're going through that kind of really um tough stage of experimentation and developing a new skill and you find yourself absolutely hating the work um, it's perfectly normal um, well at least it is for me anyway when I've tried these techniques I just didn't enjoy it so I, then I developed a style where I enjoyed using the tools that I use and the way I do it and the things I illustrate you know, like I've had that realisation I never really knew why my style developed the way it was. Anyway, today is Monday, I've got a coffee. Today I have to do a lot of admin stuff, so I have to do a lot of emails. I have to also make some mugs up. Now I don't sell mugs in my store anymore, but there's actually a business downstairs and I had some spare mugs and she asked me if I could press her logo onto them. Uh, so I just said yes to get rid of the extra mugs that I've got in my cupboard. So I need to do that today. And yeah, reply to your guys' comments and stuff because I am so behind on uh, YouTube comments. I'm so, so sorry. I've just found it a real struggle lately trying to balance every single platform. So I'm gonna sit down for a good hour and I am going to reply to you guys. And yeah, and Emily is working away in the second studio. You might've just heard the heat press go off. So yeah. Let's go, shall we?
Okay, so I've finished press it, press this. <laughs> I've finished pressing the mugs for the salon downstairs. It's just a really simple. Their logo on the front, another logo for the extensions that they do on the back. So super simple, just to get rid of the mugs. I've still got a couple more mugs under there, but I'm sure I'll find use of them. And then this guy is going into storage. I would like to offer mugs again in my store, but at the moment with the Etsy shipping ordeal, uh, if you don't know, Etsy are dropping listings lower if you don't offer free shipping to the US uh, when they spend $35 or more. The problem is with shipping mugs is they cost me about £10 to post. So until we can figure out a cost effective way of posting out mugs to people, they will be banished from the Etsy store. They're also a bit of a pain to make to be honest because as the store has got busier and busier, um, the more and more mugs we ended up pressing, uh, yeah, we're just running out of storage space. It was just taking a lot of time so it wasn't really worth it so took them off they've been off for a few months now um it was an amazing investment i'm so glad i invested in this because i made quite a lot of money selling mugs and things but yeah it was just i wanted to go more the stationary route but i will never say no to bringing it out again so yeah the good old trusty heat press has been out for anyone who wants to know it's just a free sub dual heat press i think you can get these off sites like signs world and stuff i actually bought this off ebay to be honest i think it was signs world ebay site so if you want to check it out um oh i didn't notice this is coming off but yeah now i think me and em are going to lunch oh yeah so see you in a little bit Happy Tuesday. So yesterday I jumped on orders with Emily and I basically cut stickers at the same time. So while I was doing orders I had the crickets running in the background and then when they stopped I would switch them off and then jump back on orders. So that's what I did for the later half of the day. I've got some new sticker designs which will be coming very soon. So I've got a house range of stickers, uh, some bill stickers uh, so we can remind ourselves to pay the bills and I have some pride stickers coming out. So I have a sheet with all the pride flags on or the majority of the pride flags on and then i was thinking of making the individual flags into their own sheet as well but that's going to take a long time i think to cut them out and prepare them so i'm slowly trying to do that when i can normally when i'm on orders or when i'm editing a video is when i kind of do that sort of thing also please excuse my eyes i have to refilm a video today and my eyes are so 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 i need to get some allergy tablets <laughs> really bad 
Anyway, I've got a cup of green tea this morning and I actually have my pencils out and a sketchbook out because I want to do some anatomy references this morning. So I'm going to spend about 30 minutes just doing some quick anatomy references because my anatomy can be quite stiff, particularly when I'm drawing like females or males. I find like I have very stiff kind of angles when i'm drawing like cute characters it's not as bad because i can kind of position the arms where i want and the anatomy isn't as important but when i'm drawing yeah like female characters and stuff i find my work's a bit stiff yesterday's illustration of uh, the lady of shallot kind of proved my point like i felt she was really stiff and angular and didn't have much body expression so i'm going to do some anatomy references and just do some sketches and stuff and i'll probably share that with my patrons and then i really need to make some sort of gingy pin so i need to update gingy and i need to film a video so i've got my ipad as well i need to make an update gingy pin because my old pin uh, even though he sold out and he worked really well it has been ripped off on places like alibaba and aliexpress and i also feel like gingy has had a bit of a character um up upgrade <laughs> so like he's kind of improved because i was just developing my style when i um started developing gingy um so i'm just going to upgrade him slightly it's going to be a similar sort of thing of him just standing there so you can pop him on like your jackets and stuff and then i'm also going to do one of spice as well so you can buy one of gingy or of spice um for christmas basically and uh, so that's what i'm going to do today i'm also going to record a what's on my phone video but anyway I'm gonna get to sketching on some uh, anatomy studies. Also, these are only the pencils I've got now. I've got these in an Arteza tin, but this used to be full, like jam-packed full. But I've got rid of a lot of my supplies and I kind of gave them to Emily. And I find I'm not missing them. These are a perfect amount for me. I've also got some Arteza ones behind me somewhere, but yeah. Let's get into it. So I've just finished doing my anatomy sketches and yeah, I'm not the best at anatomy, but I think it is really, really helpful to refresh my memory because sometimes I can get so, or kind of, so involved in my own style that I forget to reference real life and sometimes that can help a very stylized photo even though you change the body proportions like the arms are really small or whatever it still does help in terms of figuring out where those body parts would go when they're stylized by doing references from real life so it was really handy to do them uh, there was a pose that I found so difficult and it still looked really stiff next up I am going to illustrate Gingy and I'm going to do kind of him just stood there and I'm going to do spice so that's what I'm going to do right now so see you in a little bit I might insert the time lapse future Catherine insert the time lapse here recording recording the what's on my phone video and i also had a break i had my soup and sandwich and i watched sarah favorite on my ipad i've been sat in this office all morning and it is now 25 to 2 <laughs> so i spent half the day in the studio and i'm feeling good about it because it's so cozy in here definitely want a computer in here um so i can just keep that other room as like a um officey room but yeah I might start bringing my laptop in I keep saying that and I keep forgetting so who knows now I'm going to go through to the other studio I'm going to create a time lapse for Gingy and I'm going to share that on Instagram and get to work so it's going to be very nesky I'm going to be sat down I feel like I've been sat down all day as it is anyway but yeah let's go into the other studio hello guys happy 
Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. I've just been swimming, so I've got super wet hair. And for some reason this morning, I was so hungry. And normally I don't eat breakfast, I normally skip it. But I just had the strongest craving for a big cup of tea and some toast. So I made myself some sourdough toast and oh, it was so good. I love sourdough bread so much. It goes so crunchy in the toaster. Today, I want to focus on stickers. Now, I've got a few sticker packs that I've sold out in my Etsy store. I've got my pastel, which that's sold out. And I've got my ghosties that I've sold out. Now, if you're an OG and you've been here since the very early days of um, the studio vlogs, you might have seen that I designed these ghosts and I did them with Copics in my sketchbook. Actually, I'll show you. It should be in this sketchbook. So I did these ghosts and I put them on my computer and I was kind of developing my technique and skill set and um these were with copics and i didn't put them in procreate and i didn't digitally go over them or anything so now what i thought i would like to do is go over them digitally and just give them an update now i already did this for the pastel witch uh, sticker set i actually changed the designs as well because the pastel witch sticker set was one of my first ever sticker packs so now i feel like because the ghosties have sold out in my etsy saw this is what they look like i thought i would update them because things like this guy i don't like the shape now these are still really cute and i do like them especially this little guy and this little guy which are my favorite but i just feel like they would look more professional and look more clean and neat and crisp if i did them digitally on procreate so i'm gonna um I'm going to put these on Procreate, take a photo on my iPad, and then draw around them. So, yeah, let's go, shall we? designing my ghost stickers and they've turned out so cute so they look really really similar to what they look like before to be fair uh, they even look like quite traditional like what they used to look like which is quite cute because I use a gouache brush which um gives it this nice little texture and you get a lot more to a pack now than what you used to get so I've just made a load up a bunch that I'm gonna take photos of very very soon but this is them all I've also added in some little ones to make use of the space on the sheet of paper I just saw I'd add in some little ones and then some big ones I think the Dracula and now the new one which is a ghost dressed up as a ghost for trick-or-treating is my favorite one look how cute he is is it focusing look how cute this guy is this makes me laugh so much so they'll be on my Etsy store by the time you watch this um so yeah and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here guys it is now Wednesday it is now 
half past four and um, to be honest I have been procrastinating quite a lot today I don't know what it is um I just keep procrastinating. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog. Thank you so so much for being here. Thank you so much to my beautiful patrons who are watching this video because without them I wouldn't be able to dedicate the time to film and sit down with you guys. So thank you so much to my beautiful patrons and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very very soon. I hope you really like the ghosty stickers. Let me know in the comments which one was your favourite and yeah I'll see you very soon. Okay then. I love you. Goodbye.